Hi, everybody. My name is Julianne Casillo. I'm originally from Maui, and I'm living in Oahu currently while I get my degree here at, here at UH West. I'm a transfer student from UH Maui College, and I graduated from Maui High School in 2014, so almost 10 years ago. Um, I'm a creative design and media student with a concentration in design and media. So starting, oh, I think I skipped one, there you go. So in this presentation, I'm gonna be going over the plans for my senior capstone project, my thesis for my research paper, the objectives and rationale of the research I have conducted so far, and address the significance of my proposed project with my research. So starting off with my thesis statement, when stories are told from a singular point of view, the author further perpetuates negative stereotypes and limits a person's experience. So the single story perspective is an original term coined by Chamanda Ngozi Adichie. So she created this term because she found out that there was a lack of representation in storytelling. So most of the stories she encountered were um, majority white characters or written by white authors. In my objective and rationale for the research I conducted was to demonstrate the lack of diversity and um, specifically in fairy tales, since that is typically when children are introduced to literature. It's through um, folklore, fables, nursery rhymes, and fairy tales. I wanted to show the lack of representation and how it influences negative self-image. Because if you can't see a role model, it's hard to emulate that for yourself. And why I believe children's stories, specifically fairy tales, need to be modernized using an intersectional approach and queer theory to make sense, to make stories make sense for children. So for my senior capstone, I am planning to do a senior project where I would use the design skills learned from my courses to create new posters or ads for popular fairy tales showing how modernizing the narrative using diversity can also deconstruct stereotypes. So making my characters ambiguous enough and diverse to where it is up to the person to decide if it holds any meaning. Down to the significance. So everybody has biases, whether we are aware of them or not, but how do we correct our unconscious bias? So knowledge is power and people often fear what they don't know. By educating them and changing the way we think, we can help create a more diverse, equal and equitable society. So when it comes to unconscious bias, I know there are a few um, people have probably heard of implicit bias, affinity bias um, when we gravitate towards people that are similar to us in beliefs, background, and values. There's also beauty bias, which is how you treat people um, purely based on how they look and how attractive they are. Significance number two, discrimination and prejudice is learned or taught, and it's typically through um, authority figures, family, friends, and currently now um, through movies and stories, because that's typically how um, children and people, they interact through media. So how do we teach children to be more open-minded? So I believe that the lack of diversity in schools and media prevent people from creating more inclusive circles. So that goes back to the um, affinity bias, how we stick to people and circles that we are comfortable in. These are common stereotypes here on the left. So I want you to match the description with, or the stereotype description with the character. So you can either put it in the chat or you can, um, you can just keep it to yourself. So what do you think when you hear the word stepmother? Going back to um, fairy tales, how are they typically described? What about Prince? What's the, 
um, description that's always given for prints. What about a witch? And then heroine and magician. So when it comes to stepmother, they're often wicked, like Cinderella. She always, it's always described a wicked stepmother. Prince is always handsome or charming. A witch is always old or ugly. They're all often referred to as hags, like the ugly old hag. Heroines or princesses, they're often described as beautiful. And magicians are often seen as evil. Now on the right is an infographic done by the Cooperative Children's Book Center. So in their study, they found that there was a lack of diversity specifically in people of character, um, people of color characters in storybooks. So this study was done from 94 to 2016. And in their study, it did show significant improvement in the character development of people of color characters. However, at the same time, um, people of color authors didn't also increase. So only 6% of children's books are written by Black, Latinx, Native American, or other minorities. Meaning that majority of storybooks are still wrote and told through a white perspective. My target audience is children, teens, and young adults. So typically from ages five to 21. I'm interested in what stories they find most interesting if they hold any significance to them, and if there is a diversity ratio, specifically with the characters and their development. For my proposed solution, I want to make visible stereotypes to prevent empathy that prevent empathy for, from others. So for you to be able to check your bias. To deconstruct stereotypes and understand how stereotypes can be harmful. In my pre production, I'm going to do more research based on unconscious bias and the negative effects of stereotypes. <clears throat> In the beginning, I'm also going to be taking a quiz to determine what my implicit bias is and see if I can start a baseline as I continue the project. I also want to catalog, categorize fairy tales based on the character descriptions to see if there are any common stereotypes associated and if there is a diversity ratio. In production, I want to deconstruct the stereotype by creating ambiguous characters that can be um, interpreted by the audience to mean whatever they want and so they can create their own connections to them. At the halfway mark of my project, I want to take another implicit bias quiz to see if I have stayed the same, if I've improved or even worsened. And I want to see if I can even be unbiased in my own designs. In post-production, I'm going to be taking my last implicit bias quiz, gathering my data from my research, my analysis, um, my designs, and my quiz results, and seeing if there's a pattern. Um, to see if I have shown any growth, um, if I can be and other humans can be consciously unbiased. In my deliverable, like I was saying, I want to create storybook or movie ads or posters specifically in the fairy tale genre to challenge what people see and how they interact with it and interpret them. I want to know if what their initial thoughts are after seven seconds, um, because it typically takes one tenth of a second to form an opinion or an, a bias. I want to see what stereotypes you originally perceive and if their first impressions changed after learning to be consciously unbiased. Are we still able to recognize the fairy tale without familiar characters or stereotypes associated? That is the end of my presentation.